Hello everybody. Well, I believe in the 1800s, I was a famous footballer. Oh, no, I never played it now, but it makes sense because I, do, I help out at the football, I enjoy AFL, so obviously I must have played it sometimes in a previous life. Well, I know Graham Thorne did, and Patrick Dunbar, he had probably put on, he put on a few boots in his time, and Farlap was a horse. Well, my only life before that was Albert Woodron. He was the famous Norwood footballer. And here he is, about to see, about to do his poem. You see, I was a great footballer, man. Yes, I was so ace. But it was a long, long time ago. About close to 100 years ago. You see, I played in South Australia. And I played footy very well. And after the match, I would go to my car, get my little crooked wood barbecue, and start cooking the snags. And I loved that. It was really, really cool. Everyone thought I was the average cook. And they all came over for some meat. And I, yes, I even had some nice cold beers. And I think that's so very cool. As I cooked the meat, the other players were saying, Come on, mate. Cook us a nice, beautiful Aussie snack. I also played cricket for South Australia as well. And I even took the, my barbecue to the cricket for after match food. The only way you can do that now is if you just stay local. And some days, like at the footy and the cricket, every player got very vocal. Come on, we want the barbecue, but I'm a wood drum. I was a very Australian guy who loved to play footy or cricket. And I loved the barbecue at the end. Yes, it was exquisite. Yes, I had the muscles, and I have, 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 have heaps of those. Everyone enjoy eating a snag or a sausage, and then an egg and bacon roll. Since, they, since that footy life ended, I was kidnapped and killed twice. But now, dudes, I'm the coolest dude, Brian Allen. And, and yes, I enjoy the footy life. And also, if you look at the series of the thing, I also loved Adelaide, and that's where Albert Woodron was from. And I've been there in 2009 and in 2012 to see the Christmas pageant. And also, I intend to one day, hopefully, enjoy Adelaide again. It was beautiful. Okay, see ya.